Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and today I've got Jonathan Mayfield, our sales manager with us, and we're inside the 2021 Alliance Paradigm 385 FL. The FL stands for Front Living. Front Living, Front Lounge. Yep. I've heard it called a couple of different things, but overall it's one of those where your living space is up front over where uh, your kingpin is, basically at the very front of the fifth wheel, closest to the truck. Uh, it provides a lot of really cool aspects to this that we'll go through today. That's right. And that's where we're sitting right now, that big front living room. This has seen a little bit of a half year model change, even though we're about to push into the 2022 season. Sure. So there's some updates that we want to look at that's changed since we've had the last one of these in stock. We'll get right into it. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. This is going to be a cool tour, guys. So what's different? This is it, the back bathroom. It has changed ever so slightly, but it's a massive, massive improvement. Huge, huge uh, change in the functionality of it all, Barry. I really like um, what they've done here. Um, they, they moved the lav from the off door side there to the back wall and, and flip flopped it with the toilet. Yep. And I think you were telling me that there's loads more counter space now as a there, result. There is, so before, this entire this big countertop that we have sitting right here was sandwiched over in this corner we had the window this on the back wall where this mirror is now and the toilet was just kind of haphazardly out in the center and it just didn't feel like it worked super well you had to kind of walk around the toilet to get to the sink and that was kind of weird but now with the toilet over in the corner and the sink on this back wall we get more storage more counter space and it just flows a lot better. The shower, same size as far as I can tell. It, it looks the same. That's a great shower because it's accommodating for really tall people. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. nice and large. You got that fold down teak seat there. That's a right. yep. super, super cool little addition that to the That supports plenty of weight nice. there. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe this is a 48 inch shower enclosure. So there's, there's plenty of room. I mean, I can throw my elbows out and, and have space in here. I'm not worried about bumping things. This is longer than my shower is at home so it's uh it's actually quite nice um and i love the the look of uh this shower enclosure the kind of the gray marbled tile just gives it a, a glamorous feel and i like that alliance thinks of the small things they've gone ahead and put in like a little shower caddy mm -hmm. in the corner that lets you hang up your loofahs your soaps whatever it is that you bathe with at night and of course they put in this wonderful fantastic fan that's up here at the top that's going to cycle a lot of air out of here a lot of bad smells if it's the right time of day Barry, so. that is fantastic <laughs> fantastic another cool thing about this bathroom is that it is set up for a washer dryer so you could use that as a giant hanging closet or we could put a stackable washer dryer in there i think that's pretty slick and Alliance is big on storage. There is no shortage of storage here in the form of drawers, so many of them, and a nice another hanging closet there. So I can see carrying winter and summer clothes in this guy. And notice how all those drawers are soft clothes. We just got to get them close. That's right. Yeah. And once there's a little bit of weight in there, it works that much better. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can, you can actually slam these drawers and nothing slams. It's still a nice soft close. That's right. And of course they're using a nice barn door, sliding door style setup that goes into the bedroom. Speaking of the bedroom, let's pop on in there and check that out. Sounds great. All right, Barry, so one of the things you pointed out in the bathroom is all the storage that's in there. You've got some wardrobe. They, they carry that right on in here into the master bedroom. Uh, so you've got some nice hanging space on both sides, left and right. We've got plenty of big drawers. There's actually a nice super deep drawer down below. And then your traditional chest of drawers, and don't forget hidden storage. Hidden storage. All of our uh, alliances come with this hidden storage panel. It's just a great little place to for me, I would empty my pockets there. It's like every a night. junk drawer. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's like your, your daily stuff. 
Um, right beside it, we've got this little bench. Again, kind of a signature of a, a paradigm. Uh, the bench has storage inside. Great place to drop your shoes. But you can sit down there and uh, go ahead and, and you know tie your shoes, that sort of thing, in the morning. Yep, that bench and, just uh, lifts right up. Yeah. It's pretty easy to do. It's on a little piano hinge back there. So yeah. it gives you a spot to store some extra stuff, hide some things away. And they've thought about all kinds of great stuff in here. For instance, if you have a CPAP machine, they've given you a spot for that. This little cubby has a plug in the back. Not to mention, on both sides of our king bed, yes, this is a king bed in the slide, we have USB charging as well as a standard power port down below. I like some of the other cool little touches that they've given us here, like the padded headboard. That's pretty slick. And then, of course, you know we have MCD roller shades throughout. So that's that name brand easy to use roller shade. This does have its own air conditioning back here as well. Right, Barry. So having three air conditioners on board, you're getting over 40,000 BTUs of air conditioning. Uh, they do direct dump in living room and kitchen. Here, this is a ducted system so that you can get cooling up into the bathroom as well. Um, but yeah, having three ACs on board, you can run all three on 50 amp service. You can run two ACs on just 30 amp service. So that's a huge benefit if you go to a park where maybe you're a little bit more limited. That's right. And they didn't skimp on entertainment in the bedroom either. They've given us an LG Smart TV back here. It's in a really great location. It's centered up with the king bed and directly across from it. So laying there, it's gonna be easy to see and control it of the evening. And again, that goes back to that whole comfort thing. There's that padded headboard back there. So sitting up and watching that TV mm -hmm. is gonna be easy as well. Going back to the whole storage thing, again, well, it's a standard feature we see in a lot of trailers, but here we go. We lift that up, it's on struts, and we've got this nice big box that Alliance has down here for storing even more stuff. Stuff is the name of the game. Stuff is the name of the game. <laughs> Places to keep your stuff. Um, and one thing that I want to point out is you have these uh, main dimmer controls throughout the coach for the main body. So uh, you can, in the evening time, just turn this down a bit so that it's not quite so bright. I'm one that likes to dim the lights at night. Yeah. Um, but all throughout the coach, living room, kitchen, uh, and here in the bedroom, we've got those dimmers. Excellent. Yeah, it's a super cool bedroom. You know, the walk around king bed, well, shuffle around king bed. It's, it's still walk around. You can get yep. around it with ease. But all of this coming together makes for a really functional space and being attached to that giant bathroom is just awesome. But this thing hides yet another bathroom downstairs in the kitchen so that your guests don't have to pass through the bedroom to get to the bathroom and i think that's a really cool feature let's pop down to the lower level and check that out so stepping out of the bedroom and down onto the lower deck we come into our kitchen one of the things i like about this is just how it, it's compartmentalized but it doesn't feel small so we actually have separate rooms here. We have a living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom. And that's kind of a slick feature because in most fifth wheels, it feels like the living room and the kitchen is this one big combined space, which sometimes can feel a little overbearing, closed in. Yeah, having them on different levels gives you that separate room feeling, but without closing it off with a wall. That's right. We've, we've seen some floor plans 10, 15 years ago where they, they did like a rear den that was completely closed off. And it just, that's very compartmentalized. But this gives you that separation, but you still have complete ability to talk back and forth um, to where it's kind of like an open floor plan home, but it still feels like a separate room. That's right. Now coming in through the front entrance, this is the front entrance of the camper right here. Immediately to my left, I have access to the main air conditioner over the kitchen, but more importantly, I have the kitchen lights right here. So as soon as I step up into the camper, I can turn on the overhead lights that are directly in this room. Another super cool feature is the fact that we have a half bath right here, and this is accessible with the slides closed. So if you're on the road, if you're moving around, it's easy to jump up through that main entrance and get right to that half bath. And as we stated earlier, that's gonna keep guests from tromping through your bedroom and up into the master bathroom. So I think that's a slick feature. There is a big fan up above that really exhausts that bathroom as well. And then also of note is our control panel is hiding right here in the staircase. Now you think to yourself, well, why would they put it right there where the slide is? Well, the slide actually doesn't impede you from getting to that control panel. This is not a deep slide, so it really only comes into about right here, leaving a doorway's worth of space to access all of those individual switches 
that control each and every little item in the camper. Now, they've done some other cool things. They've swapped up the fridge on us. This used to be from GE, but now it's Samsung. Right, right. They've gone to the Samsung. It's still a residential refrigerator. Uh, so it's gonna be 110. You can use the inverter on board to power it as you're driving down the road with your batteries. Uh, but we've got French door, freezer down below. We've even got a little uh, pantry space above. Great place to put breads and such. Even more pantry There's, space yeah, there. That's too. right, yeah, backing up this way. We've got uh, generator start. This is generator prepped on this model. It's wired for solar as well. Um, and your inverter control is right there. Again, handy for uh, next to all of your main control panel, but great storage there. And then as we move into the kitchen, uh, one of the key features again with Alliance is they've been doing these residential uh, four burner uh, ranges with the deep oven. Uh, I love the fact that they put the the photo of the uh, turkey on there because you can actually put a bird in there, Barry. That's it's, right. you, normally we're talking about Cornish hens, but in this case, you can put a turkey in there. Now, one of the things that I think is cool about this particular model, and actually a lot of alliances for that matter, but this big center island, one thing that's notable about this big center island though is that it is already set up to have a dishwasher installed. Now we didn't option it in with one, but everything's there for us to remove a couple of drawers and pop in a dishwasher. It's not a huge dishwasher, but it's gonna wash everything from one meal for sure. sure. Absolutely. So for people that don't like to do them by hand, there you go, we can fix that up for you. There is a big old single basin stainless steel sink here. It's hidden by this nice little sink cover that extends our counter space. And of course, you know, they've given us the sink faucet that's nice and high to get pots and pans under, and it has that extension there, so rinsing things out is pretty easy. Yep, and Barry, we've got the same soft closed drawers and cabinet doors uh, throughout the coach. Uh, so this is all gonna kind of do the work for you. Not gonna have a lot of banging and clanging, early morning hours fixing coffee. Uh, the microwave is convection. That's a residential 30 inch over the range microwave. Yep. Uh, and then one of the things that I really love is they do these flush floors uh, for the kitchen slide. So you'll, you'll notice that my heels are on the main body. You can just barely see the line here where the kitchen linoleum from the slide comes over, but you're not either kicking that as you're trying to cook, uh, nor are you tripping over anything. It's, it's truly a flush floor slide. Absolutely love it. It makes kitchen cleanup easy as well because there's not carpet there as so many manufacturers have done through the years. That's right. You can walk right up and over it. And the same thing's happening over here at our dinette. This is a super cool dinette. It's got that live edge table to it. And right now we've brought in a couple of folding chairs. These two that are in front are actually folding chairs, but the ones that are in the back right here, these actually lift up and they have storage hiding up underneath them. The folding chairs can fold down and be tucked away under the bed or in a closet if you just want to get them out of the way and only have two chairs mm -hmm. at that dinette. They've got a couple of LED lights up above and those big bay windows all the way around it. We have them closed right now just because it'll blow out our camera with so much sunlight, but that's awesome for during the daytime when you're sitting there eating, you can see 360 or right, 180, yeah. I should say 360, 180 out those bay windows and look around. Now, they've gone in and given us a few other things too. There's more storage as Jonathan was saying here, but I like the fact that they've given us kind of a kitchen appliance counter. Mm -hmm. right Great place here. for your coffee maker, Keurig, anything like that. Mm -hmm. you and you've got the through. outlet there. Yep, you've got the outlet right there. So that's the spot to set it out and make use of it and not have to worry about it being in the way on your main kitchen counters. You guys, that's kind of the kitchen in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Let's jump up onto the main floor and take a look at this awesome front living room with opposing slides. So up here in this main living room, as you were saying, we have three ACs on board. You're talking about that earlier. One of the direct dumps goes right into this living room. So it's gonna make it nice and cool if you have guests. Uh, this is awesome for entertaining those guests right. because we have three couches in here. You can easily sit down six people, maybe even eight if you got some kids in between mm -hmm. adults on these sofas that are off to the side. And at six foot three, I've got plenty of space and I can even walk under that air conditioner without even coming in contact. I don't even think my hair brushed mm -mm. it. No, you there. had a solid inch yeah. about that. Uh, yeah. So I've got plenty of space in here. I don't feel encroached upon. And having these opposing slides, so both of these sides have slides that go out that host these couches, really just kind of opens up this floor space in here dramatically. And speaking of these couches, 
They're both sleeper sofas. They're both sleeper sofas. They're going to fold out and uh, give you accommodations for, I mean, I would say as many as four more people so the coach can sleep six. If we're being a little more reasonable, you know, it's it's roughly a full-size bed, so a child and an adult per, maybe not two adults, just depends on how cozy you want to get. That's right. Um, but, yeah, we've got the, the opposing sleeper sofas, the movie theater seats that are facing the TV. They're directly in front. Uh, there's a couple of things that I love about them. Number one is these are power, so I'm just – Push button, these just come right out uh, and just give you a really nice seating surface. And this goes all the way back, keeps going. There we go. So really just a comfortable place to just sit back and chill. Uh, and the one thing that I'm missing is a place for a cold beer, but there it is. There it is. Got the cup holders built in. Uh, so uh, watching the race or the game or heck, even a movie at night. That's right. Just a great little spot. And all of that is directly across from this giant entertainment center I'm really digging on this entertainment center. Again, we've got LG Smart TV, big old TV that's in that entertainment center. We've got a Jensen head unit up above. I think this is a little bit different model than we've seen in the previous uh, incarnation of this coach. And that may just be to supply chain, due to supply chain issues thanks to COVID. But I'll take it. This is a decent model. It's Bluetooth capable and it looks like it's got a DVD player built into mm -hmm. it. So that's pretty cool. They've given us an extra plug and a shelf up here. So we can store trinkets, knickknacks, and other things that go along with this big entertainment center. Not to mention, there's a lot of storage around this thing. There really is. So you've got cabinets on both sides. You've got the overhead cabinet above. Nice shelves on each side in the side cabinets. And then down low, once again, shelving down there. But one of the coolest things to this one, Barry, we've got this pullout storage. Pullout storage. So again, a big key feature with Alliance. This to me is a great spot to keep those, those linens and things for these two sleeper sofas. Uh, you've got plenty of space in there for some extra pillows, blankets, uh, some sheets, of course, even, even like a bedroll if you wanted to, to make this extra comfortable for grandma. You can, you can put a, an egg crate in there or a mattress topper, make it nice and cozy. That's right. And one last thing I want to point out while we're up here is something that I just think is, is just good looking. So they've added this row of accent lights up above our crown molding and they run from this front of the room all the way to the back back there. You could cut down the lights and leave those on and it's just going to give a nice little kind of shine to the room across the glow. ceiling, a little bit of a glow. Yeah. So that's a very, very cool feature that just looks good. It classes it up a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, I, that that reminds me almost like of a movie theater. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a big movie guy. I like going to the movies. So when I was talking about sitting here and watching a movie and, yep. and just enjoying things, I would leave those on. Everything else would be dark and that way I get the full experience. It's super cool. So let's pop outside and check out some of the features there because there's a lot more storage to take a look at on this. Let's unit. check it out. All right, let's go. So I want to start right here at the back of the camper because we were talking about storage and storage is definitely the name of the game. Because of that raised deck, they've given us all kinds of crazy storage, including this crazy drawer. This drawer supports 800 pounds, Barry. I mean, great space to put all kinds of gear. You can put your cooler, you can put kayaks. If you peek up in there, the drawer is probably about seven and a half, eight feet, but that drawer goes, or that space goes beyond the drawer, kind of high up in there. Um, I'm thinking kayaks 11, maybe close to 12 feet long can go up in there. It is a big, big space. You could carry all kinds of fun things with you on vacation. Not to mention, they've extended the ability to carry even more stuff by mm -hmm. giving us this two inch receiver hitch with four pin wiring. You've got the four pin wiring and it's got the tabs for the safety chains. So even if you wanted to tandem tow, check your local laws, uh, you've got the ability to do that. That's right. Ladder heads up to a fully blockable roof and we're wired for a backup camera up there as well. If we push around to the door side of the camper, we notice that we have even more access to that storage. Our baggage doors have slam latches, magnetic catches or struts to keep them open. So that's super convenient. And that goes all the way through to the other side of that big storage where there's exact opposite doors just like these on the other side. That's right, and Barry, of course, these are laminated, insulated baggage doors. So they're gonna keep this area a little more climate controlled than just the, the little thin doors. Um, and you'll notice up here, we've actually got coax, so you can actually do an outdoor TV here, and you've got 110 here on the bulkhead, and again, that additional storage space that tucks around there. 
We've got outdoor speakers. Yep. So that's going to add to the outdoor entertainment value. Up above, we've got two huge patio awnings, uh, both of which have LED uh, lights underneath the bottom of them, and yep. they are tilt adjustable. So again, just loads of patio space. That's out here. right. I love these big awnings and how long they are. They really cover up almost the length of the trailer here. Now, this is running on a pretty cool setup here in terms of heavy, heavy, heavy duty tires and a heavy duty shackle and suspension system this down there as well. Not to mention, we talk about heavy duty, you know, everything here is built with comfort and ease in mind. We have this solid step staircase that goes up and down, and this is on that strut assist, so it makes it easy to lower and raise uh, without having to deal with the weight of those stairs. And the legs are adjustable as well for uneven terrain down below. They've even given us a really large grab handle for getting up and down inside of the trailer. All great features, Barry. You've got that safety light up above, so your porch light is going to give you some nice light around here at nighttime so that you're not tripping over any of the items that are out here under your patio mm -hmm. um, and make it safety. Again, That's safety, right. to, I think, is kind of the key we're focusing on, whether we're talking about the overbuilt axles and tires or the stairs. I think we're talking about safety. And something we can't see because it's daytime out, Alliance puts ground effect lighting That's under right. these as well. So the underbody of the coach kind of lights up in all the primary areas, I think. That's really, it's, it's, it's both a safety feature, but it looks really cool in the camera. It does, it does. Well. I mean, who, who doesn't want a nice little glow around the bottom of That's the camera? That's right. And right here off of the kitchen slide, we've got a GFCI outlet. So I can think of all kinds of uses for that. We're right here under these big awnings. So you could be sitting out here having a picnic, whatever it is. You might want to plug something in, a little stereo, maybe just charge your phone. Who knows? That's right. right there for you. Yeah. And speaking of places to plug things in, we've got a water port right here. This is going to plumb into your main freshwater plumbing system mm -hmm. so that you can have a little sprayer out here to rinse anything off. Uh, and then down below this little blue plug, uh, that pr plumbs into your main propane system. So right. again, hook up a little grill or something out here, just loads of space out here to be able to, to picnic and have a good time. Uh, and of course, that leads to the pass-through storage compartment, Barry. That's right. And something that's cool about this, something we don't see that often in a front living floor plan, is this actually does pass through. Mm -hmm. A lot of times this gets cut off and it becomes a small storage box right. due to limitations in the way that the platform was built. But here, this goes clear to the other side. And on the other side, we'll get to it in a little bit, but that's gonna have our main hookup panel as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. And of course, they're running the 30 pound propane tanks, one per side. You've got space to be able to upgrade these to 40 pound tanks if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, again, saddlebag storage is what I call it. You've got one on each side of the coach, balances things out, makes things symmetrical. Now, something I noticed earlier when we were looking at this is that we brought this in generator prepped. Right, Barry. So it's generator prepped. You've got that steel box in there. That's a big safety feature to enclose the generator. Uh, your propane line is already here and plugged your wiring harness for the remote start switch that's inside the coach at the main control panel is right here as well. Uh, we just punch out a few holes, set it in place and connect the wiring to the transfer switch. And once again, the transfer switch is already here. So all the hard work has been done. That's right. And on the other side of that box, we've got a position to host our battery as well as all of our hydraulic pump and motors. And right here at this front cap, We've got this awesome Rotaflex pin box. This has an escutcheon plate built into it, and that's gonna help limit some of the chucking that you experience when towing. This actually does provide a more comfortable ride. I've experienced it myself, mm -hmm. this compared to a standard pin box, and it does make a difference. Absolutely, just, just the fact that it flexes, it's almost like a rocking chair, mm -hmm. uh, but just a little bit of flex can go a long way so that it's not bumping you as you're going down the road. That's right, and they've given us load lights and conveniently located a switch right there on the side of the camper. That's right, it's right here, so it's easy to flip on and off uh, from the driver's side of the camper when you're hitching and unhitching. And again, for convenience, uh, we've got... <laughs> Can't pop it open, I've got my... Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't bring them so with So this me. is where our control panel is for the six-point leveling system. Uh, it's the level up system from LCI. Um, it's the same thing that we've been running for years. It's a tried and true method. Gives us really strong uh, uh, hydraulic pistons to level the coach uh, and you know, really make it a solid platform when you're camping. That's right. The other side of that pass-through storage. That's pretty cool. This is our main docking station. We, we showed you guys the spray port on the other side. Now this little hose right here 
it can be used on this side or that side. It plugs in the same way. Mm -hmm. You just pop it into that quick disconnect there, and then we have instant water. Now that's gonna be awesome for hosing off dirty bikes, dirty dogs, all sorts of different things at the end of an adventurous day. Absolutely, Barry. So you've got that, that spray port there. They've given you a 110 volt outlet, duplex outlet. You switch to your water pump. All of your key in terms of winterizing and such, all these handles are color coded along with the, uh, the key up here so that you know exactly what you're doing when it's time to winterize. Yep, and notice that we have a nice big rubber latch right here. We can pop that off and access the back side of that. And it's gonna give your tech, just uh, a service tech, just an easier way to diagnose an issue as well as the owner for that matter. Yeah, it's, I view that as no different than popping the hood. You want an easy way to access your engine on your automobile. You wanna pop the hood, check things out, same thing. You're, they've given you that latch. That was one of the, the things that they changed on the fly by a customer recommendation. Uh, instead of screwing that panel on, they give that little T-handle latch, you pop it open, you can get back there quick and easy. Now something I didn't mention inside, looking at all these 90 degree shutoff valves for the water in and out, that's something Alliance does that's pretty slick at every single terminus for water inside, whether it's your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, your toilet, your shower, they give you a 90 degree valve to shut off water right there at that terminus. So if you are having a problem, pop it off and then deal with it later. That's right, exactly. You don't have to worry about uh, leaky pipes and that sort of thing. You're not cutting off the entire water supply to the coach due to one leaky faucet. You can just turn it off, continue using the coach as necessary and get to it you know, as soon thereafter as possible. Yep, and then pushing down, I want you to notice at the top of this slide, we have these Solera slide topper little plates that are up there. Right, Barry. So what they're doing is they're prepping from the factory for us to be able to install slide awnings here. It's going to make it that much quicker and easier. But more than anything, we're not even going to penetrate the body. We don't have to worry about sealant or anything. The brackets, uh, those, those face plates are going to slide off. The brackets will slide on. The slide topper goes on. Uh, they wind it for spring tension and then you're set to go. It's all super seamless. And you know, I know some people are black and white about slide toppers, you know, they either love them or they mm -hmm. hate them. So that just gives you an easy way to option it in after the fact. That's right, exactly. Now, they put the main shore power right here above the axles. Now that's, this is a 50 amp service camper. So it's a nice big 50 amp service line that they've put on there. And then behind the axles right here, we have our gray tank and black tank poles, as well as some sewer hose storage, which I think is really cool. Right, exactly. I was gonna point that out, Barry. You've got your sewer hose storage down below, your hookup for your sewage dump. Uh, they're convenient right there beside each other. Uh, and again, back to the opposite side of these big storage compartments that we have about lost it that we have back here um, so you've got that that storage even on the off door side here to be able to put whatever extra gear I mean heck put your power cord right here don't haul yep. it all the way up to the front that's right you don't have to you've got all the storage right here in the back well I tell you what let's pop back around to the front and wrap this up with some final thoughts sounds great Barry all right so this coach as we can see it's big it's awesome I mean, big is the key word there. It is a little bit heavy coming in at like 16 Yeah, gross is 16.9, I believe. Yeah. It's gonna weigh a little under 15, so roughly yeah. 2,000 pounds of cargo capacity there. One of your bigger fifth wheels. I mean, this is over 42 yeah. feet. That said, when we're talking about a full-time fifth wheel, I feel like it's right in the wheelhouse for most of what we sell in the way of the big full-time coaches. And I think this is really where it shines, in my opinion, is that this would be an awesome house to live in. I mean, it's a house on wheels. You get to go wherever you want, but it's got everything you need. It's well insulated. It's got awesome AC as well as heat. Not to mention we have full washer dryer hookups. I mean, it's loaded with residential amenities. You're right about that, Braid. I'm not going to disagree with that. However, I will say that this would make an awesome weekender as well. Uh, whether you're a family and you need to sleep, you know, even two larger kids along with two adults, uh, or even just as a couple, this would make a great long week, long week uh, or weekend coach. Uh, you've, you've got all the luxuries to make set up and tear down quick and easy with the leveling system, everything being convenient. You've got plenty of storage, so you don't even have to unpack the coach. You just leave it all in there. That's true. I didn't really think about the family aspect because you do have those two couches up front mm -hmm. that can fold out and make beds. You could sleep six in there pretty easily. You really could. Not to mention, it's prepped for a generator. So if we were to pop a generator into the front of it and you've got 
one of those families that's like at the ballpark all the time, oh, yeah. tailgating, running around from place to place. I can see how this would be awesome as a fully self-contained coach just to plop down into the parking lot and hang out at the park all weekend long. Yeah, go wherever. I mean, it's it, right. could, it could absolutely be just a spur of the moment, take it wherever you need to go and, and use it and it's 100% self-contained. So there it is, guys, this is the Alliance 385 FL. We've got it right now at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can check us out online at southernrv.com. And guys, until next time, Happy camping.